Here's a natty little laptop or a notebook. It's a Dell. What is it? Um, Dell Inspiron Mini 10. Uh, so there we go. A few years old now, and it's finally died. So um, I'm going to open it up and have a look inside before it gets scrapped. The trouble is, it's so old. It's um, yeah, it's had its time really, unfortunately. It's uh, a Celeron processor. No, it's not even that. Look, it's an Atom processor. I think it's got a gig of RAM. It ran Windows 7, but of course that's obsolete now. Hello, everyone. So uh, it's time to open it up. It even had a camera, look. Yeah, I forgot that. Had a camera, microphone. Fairly good keyboard. Uh, I think a key stuck. Because every time you turn it on now, the the beeps go on for about 30 seconds, which is annoying. It's got a trackpad, which actually was a terrible design. This was terrible because it was so difficult to navigate with this and press the buttons. They just it's just not very good. It's always worth getting a mouse in for this one. No nipple. Um. Oh yeah, the battery's dead. The battery went a while ago. Let me see if I can find that for you. So here's the battery. Quite small, everything's designed to be portable and light. I think it was purchased to make sure that it was just an easy to carry thing. What is this? Capacity, 24 watt hours. Can you see that? Is that going to focus? There we go, capacity, just in the middle there. So, very small. I think they're fairly easy to get, but... Trouble is... Technology's got, you know, so old so quickly these days, it's, um, it's time to move on. There's the power adapter. It's got a natty little indicator light on the plug. There we go. Just the little LED there. So it was quite good for its time, but it's had its time. So there's the plate at the back. It's virtually non-upgradable, really, because I think I've looked online and it was impossible to get more RAM in it. It needed at least 2 gig to make it nice to play with. Um, so let's open it up and see what's inside. Uh, they're fairly easy by the look of it. It's just got these Phillips screws. So, a few of them. Not too sure if they need to come out just yet. But we will find out. Uh, oh, in fact, there's a door here. Let's open up the door. What's inside the door? Probably memory. No, wireless LAN adapter. So there's your Wi-Fi card. Uh, what was that then? There may have been possibly a, a port. That's an optional extra here. Maybe that was upgradable, who knows? Something that's not been soldered on. There we go. That's just that. Right, I'll open it up. I won't video that because it's going to be very boring. But there we go. Oh, look at the speakers, by the way. Oh, tiny speakers. One there. One there. At least it's stereo, I guess. Right, I'll open it up and then we'll get the case off. Right, I've loosened all the screws. One, two, three, four, five. Five, six, seven, and eight. I've also done these ones here. These two there. They were flat ones. There they are. Look at those. But as of yet, it's not coming off. So I'm going to need to use a tool like this, I suspect, to prise it open. So I'll let you know how I go. I won't video it there because it's probably very boring. Yeah. So as we thought. Not only the screws need to come out, but also, as you can see, there's some little tabs or clips here. Uh, where's the other one? There it is, just there. These need to be prized out as well, so I'm just using my natty little tool here to get in. So I'm just going in here, prising, and then working away along. So let's see how that goes. Okay, so the easiest bit was this silver 
wrist rest here and as you can see that's come out nice and easily so that's opened up there's some little tabs that go into these two holes three holes and then the rest was just clipped around that's come up actually of its own accord so that was just held in that's why that came up so easily so there's your touchpad little chips there look ah speakers I think they are they look a bit better than I thought they would actually from this angle anyway even tells you look left right a few wires going in here but as of yet nothing helping us get the board out so still quite solid as you can see we're we still have all this to come apart so work continues okay I've just removed the little trackpad ribbon cable from there so just pulled this out uh, obviously you loosen this one first as you can see pull that out take it from out of the masking tape that comes away as one piece and what I've done then is I've actually prized the keyboard up from here from the back and that comes up nicely revealing some more gubbins so here we are we've got the hard drive which I've never seen from this machine so that's how you get to the hard drive this just ah yes so here we go you can see these the keyboard was held in place by three of the screws that I removed from the back one two three three in the corner there so they were ones that I've removed from here these top ones normally it indicates which ones open the keyboard up but on this one it doesn't do that uh, there's a screw stuck there okay right so that's getting the keyboard out oh I've just there we go I've just pulled that out so that came out of here and as you can see now we've got some more screws quite a few in fact so that explains why the case wasn't coming away coming away from the main body one oh that's sticky what's that that must be heat sink possibly or just vibration insulation yeah we've got uh, sorry one two three and then just that one there four I think so let's get the hard drive out and see what that's all about I can't remember what's in here I know it was slow small and slow use this to pull there we go there we go Western Digital 160 gigabytes yeah old-fashioned spindle drive 5 400 rpms these are so slow these days so you can get a good upgrade just by replacing this it's SATA replace it with an SD drive solid state drive and you'd have quite a good increase in performance there so it's got its cage which you can just yeah replace with a nice solid state drive So you can see how small the board is. Literally the board is just in here. So yeah, right, let's get these open. It is now at least telling us there's some indication here what the screws are. M2.5 times 5L. Does it come away nicely? Here, yeah, creaking plastic. There'll be the power button here, of course. You can see the wire coming in. I've already ripped that out. As you can see, that came from there. That just goes in there. I am not using this again, it's being 
recycled using uh, we recycling methods, so it's not going to be used again. It's just literally too old and too slow to use. So if I look a bit abusive, it is because I am being abusive because it's going to be scrap. Right. Next, we've probably got the speakers. Yeah, there we go. Speakers here. Let's pull them out. They're out. The little trackpad cable will come through its little holder. I've obviously done the power. That went into there. As you can see. Sorry, hold the camera correctly. There we go, that went into there. And I think it should lift away. Oh, there's one more. Nope, it's just just that one needs to come out through there. Look. There we go. So the tray comes away. There we go. With a is that supposed to be a heat sink? Screws going everywhere. Yeah, this is like a heat sink. Can you see that? Cool. Talk about thin. It's just a little plate of aluminium or something. Okay, there's that. And then the board itself. Check that out. Mm. Two thousand and nine. God, that is old, isn't it? Mm. Um, what does this do here? So you've got a link wire linking to this daughter board. This little extra board here. Oh, there's your USBs. USBs. Very compact. Audio down here. What's this? Something here. That will be, what will that be? That would be lights, I think, is it lights? Yeah, just a little LED board. Hmm, so where's the memory then? Is it on board somewhere, is it? There's no expansion at all, which is sad. So you can screw, see screws to get this out. One there, one there. Another couple probably. There's a more. Oh no, they're just they're holding the connectors in. Hmm. So that's probably gonna be one. Something here, why can I not see? It's just slotted in. Let's pull that one out. Let's get a little tool. Get out! This is the SD card, I think, here. What on earth is holding that in? Is it glue? I don't know what it was. Probably a clip, which I've broken. And there we go, we're out. So there's your monitor connection up here. Out it comes. Flip this over. More connections here. Look what's going on here. These are also going up to the display. Maybe one's data, one's power. Could be, couldn't it? Sounds reasonable. There's your battery connection. The screw flying about here. Look. Um, let's take that out. And more here. 
Now we can flip. Da -da. Ah! There's the memory. Oh, so you can't upgrade it. But look, there's no door. What a ridiculous design. There's no door. That's why you can't see memory. Look, the memory's here, behind this sticker. Well, this is part of the reason why I hate this machine. Not upgradable. So you have to take the entire board out just to get to the memory. One gig. Sorry for the movable camera. There we go, one gig, Samsung memory. Perhaps it doesn't take any more than one gig, which is why they don't allow you to upgrade it. A little CMOS battery, I think, there. What's this? I'll oh, just... Do what that is. Just a uh, little bit of kind of support. Maybe for RF interference. But yeah, there we go, there's the back. That's the wireless next one we could see, little card, wireless card, which we could see from a door. You hardly you know, need to get to that, are you? You'd much prefer to get to this. Because this memory unclips just like you'd expect it to for a laptop. There we go, look. Proper module. Why not make that upgradable? If I could stick in 4 gig on this machine, it would be usable ish but then you'd need to upgrade the hard drive as well to make it worthwhile so then you put in quite a bit of uh, cash unless you have these lying about so you know if you want to then that's what you need to do to get to it it's that bit there um, I've also removed a screw from here so we can now put out this little board ah, look at that this is the USB board couple of USBs on there, not much else. Um, yeah, that is pretty much about it really, isn't it? What's this here? Oh, there's your power input. Got a bit of filtering here, look. There you go. Bit of filtering there, little core. That's the power coming in. For the mains, comes into here, obviously battery comes in in a similar area, so you'll have your charging circuits in here. So that's pretty much the board. And this was the Wi-Fi, wasn't it here? Let's remove those. Then the board is completely free. So there's the board, that is cool. Shame it's not higher spec. I suppose it was alright in the, in the time, but I do believe even from brand new this wasn't the quickest machine. It was oh, just a bit a bit sad. Probably would have been better if I'd done a full format and put a fresh Windows 7 on rather than the bloatware that came with Dell. Um, so there's our components really. No, this is the CPU there. There's the CPU. 1.6 gigahertz powerhouse. So virtually nothing in the way of heatsink. That would have had, that would have been touching that plate there. So this is all your heatsink. It didn't get hot really. So yeah, that's about it. I think this one is I.O. Um, like SD card, etc. Maybe USB. Uh, this one I think is the another type of I.O. controller, SATA, for instance. Maybe USB on this one, and maybe this is more SD card, for instance, and then just various other ones. I mean on here there'd be audio, 
it's probably be down here somewhere. I guess the graphics is part of the chip here. So there we go, that's it. There's the abusive teardown. Thanks for coming along though to watch. It's interesting to see what's inside this thing. Cannot believe, still cannot believe there's, there's no door to upgrade the memory. That would have been such a nice little upgrade. I would have whacked something in, four gig module, would have given this a bit more life. But having to take it all apart like this, just to get to that memory upgrade, crazy really. That wasn't too bad, because remember that was under the keyboard. So that would have given it a bit more life, but with one gig of RAM, trying to run Windows 7, you know, you're going to be fighting a losing battle there, aren't you? Never mind, there we go. Cheers for now.